I have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 here, and today I'm going to show you how to pass safety net checks on this device. This is very important for devices that have been modified. Say we have unlocked the bootloader and installed a custom recovery, or possibly we have installed a custom ROM or a custom kernel. Anything that's custom and is not 100% authenticated by Xiaomi and by Google will have issues passing safety net checks. And that can cause a lot of, ish a lot of trouble for things like banking applications. I know Netflix used to have safety net checks on theirs. Pokemon Go has safety net checks to prevent people from cheating on their game. There's a lot of apps and games that use safety net, which is built into Android, to find out if the device has been modified. And normally when this happens, you have the Magisk Manager application installed. If not, you're going to need to have that installed. And I'm just going to show you, we're going to do a safety net check. Now I have the Xiaomi.eu version of me UI on this device and I have a custom recovery and I have root access. Now if you want to you can use the Magisk Manager application to actually check for safety net or you can go in the Google Play Store and download an application like this called Safety Net Test. Let me just open it up, run the test. and it will tell us if we have passed safety net or not. Now if your device is not passing safety net then there is a Magisk module that you can install to help it pass. This helps a lot if you have a GSI installed on your device or like I said another custom ROM on your device. You may have an issue passing safety net. So to do that we're going to open up the Magisk Manager application. Then we're going to tap on the hamburger menu at the top left. And then we're going to tap on the downloads option to get a list of all of the Magisk modules that we can install directly from the Magisk Manager repo. Now from the download section we're just going to tap on the search icon and do a search for hide. You're going to see a couple of options pop up. We're worried and we're going to focus on the top one called the Magisk Hide Props Config and as you can see from the description it will change the device's fingerprint to pass SafetyNet's CTS profile check. So all we have to do is tap on the download icon right here. Then we're going to, to tap on the install button. If you have not installed any of this before you're going to need to allow access to the storage. You're going to see the flashing part done. As long as you don't get any errors, we have this um, set of options down here. We can either close, save log, or reboot. Save log would be very good if you're run into, running into any errors. You need to report a log to the developer or um, uh, the developer of this Magisk module or even your custom ROM developer. But since it has been installed, we're just going to go ahead and tap on the reboot option. So just like when installing exposed framework modules, not only do you need to download and install the module, but you also need to reboot for that module to be applied. And you see, as you can see, it's just a quick reboot back into Android. We can even go into Magisk Manager. And this time we can go to 
the modules section and make sure that that Majisk Hide Props Config module is installed and that check mark is there. That means that it is currently enabled. If we wanted to, we could either trash it to uninstall it or we can tap the thing, the check mark, to disable it. But as you saw at the bottom, it can only be disabled or enabled between reboots. So if you go in and you need to disable it, uncheck it, reboot the device, the module will still be installed, but it will not be active. So if you have issues with this module installed and active during using certain apps, you can simply disable it while keeping it installed, reboot your device, and then go do whatever you need to do. Then whenever you need it enabled, you can just tap that checkbox, reboot the device, and it will be enabled again. So again, that is just a good way of how to pass safety net checks on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 if you're running into any issues where you are not, it is failing the test.